the importance of checks and balances in government. Justice Department is a fundamental institution of our democracy. People depend on us to ensure that our investigations and our prosecutions are conducted according to the facts and the law and without political influence. We have gone to extraordinary lengths to ensure that the committees get responses to their legitimate requests. But this is not one. To the contrary, this is one that would harm our ability in the future to successfully pursue sensitive investigations. Now, there have been a series of unprecedented and frankly unfounded attacks on the Justice Department. This request, this effort to use contempt as, an, as a method of obtaining our sensitive law enforcement files is just the most recent. The effort to threaten to defund our investigations and the way in which there are contributions to an atmosphere that puts our agents and our prosecutors at risk, these are wrong. Look, the only thing I can do is continue to do the right thing. I will protect this building and its people. Um, you couldn't answer this just now, but I was wondering, like, um, you know, what these this combined with the efforts to defund Jack Smith and the other attacks on Biden administration officials say about, um, you know, the broader effort to discredit you and to discredit the Justice Department. And also, how do you manage that? How are you resisting that? And uh, what can you do about that as attorney general? We have to go about our work following our, the federal principles of prosecution. They like said we follow the facts and the law. We screen out outside inappropriate influences. That's what we're doing here. We're protecting our ability to continue to do high profile and sensitive investigations. And, and we will continue to do that. It now seems vanishing. The odds now seem vanishingly small that um, the two Jack Smith federal cases are going to begin trial, let alone finish trial this year. What does that say about the pace of the justice system and confidence in this Justice Department? Look, uh, uh, the special counsel brought both cases last year. He appropriately requested speedy trials. The matter is now in the hands of the judiciary, and I'm, I'm not going to be able to comment any further. Merrick Garland's refusal to heed the summons of elected officials threatens to erode these essential checks and balances. This defiance could be seen as the administration wielding its authority too aggressively. Institutions like the Department of Justice, DOJ, often emphasize transparency and accountability to prevent power abuses and to ensure government actions align with public interests. Garland's stance, which seemingly places the DOJ's autonomy above legislative oversight, might be interpreted as shielding the department from necessary scrutiny. Such a stance raises concerns that democracy is being manipulated to justify actions that edge towards oligarchy diminishing transparency, and ignoring calls for accountability. Garland's position reflects a commitment to upholding the DOJ's independence from political influence. However, this commitment is also seen as controversial, as it suggests an unwillingness to submit to legislative oversight, which is crucial for maintaining a balanced government. The public's reaction highlights a broader worry about the concentration of power and the potential weakening of democratic principles. People fear that without proper oversight, powerful institutions might operate with less transparency, leading to feelings of alienation and powerlessness among citizens. The tension between ensuring the DOJ's independent functioning and the legislature's need for oversight is at the heart of this debate. Garland's argument that complying with subpoenas could compromise sensitive investigations is intended to protect the integrity of the DOJ's work. Yet this protection should not come at the expense of transparency and fair oversight. Public discourse on this issue underscores a deep-seated concern that our democracy might be slipping into oligarchy, with power becoming increasingly concentrated and less accountable to the people.